And once again, audiers, this is Augustus Herring here. How is it going? So, it's that time of the week again, and we're gonna make some food. Is that okay? Um, basically, uh, I thought about this uh, of what food to make. Oh, sorry, my hands in the way. Of what food to make. And uh, since I had such a great response on the cheesecake, uh, I decided that we're gonna make super noodles because they are exactly the same as cheesecake, obviously. Um, now, a lot of you are thinking, well, super noodles, there's not really anything to cook with super noodles because you literally put the kettle on, put it in, put it in the microwave. You're wrong. They don't go in the microwave. It says on them that they go in the microwave, but they don't go in the microwave. Things like Rustler's burgers and, and chicken go in the microwave, but chicken doesn't go in the microwave because you'll get some and die. So don't put chicken in the microwave. Well, at least not twice anyway. Um, so we're going to do super noodles because they are a fine cuisine, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's do this. We have here the selected super noodles. We're going to do the bacon flavour. Now, as you can see on the back, right? If I can find the, I do apologise. Yeah, what is that picture there? It's a saucepan because it's a. It's a saucepan because you're supposed to put it in the sauce in a saucepan, okay? Not that. You're supposed to put it there, not there. So I'm going to teach you how to do super noodles properly. You're flipping well. First of all, you want to fill the kettle with water. Here's water. I got it everywhere, but it's going in the kettle. Okay. And you put, put the kettle on. And you wait. Yeah. <laughs> While you're waiting for the kettle to boil, you take your super noodles and you simply place them on the floor. Here, on the floor. Then you walk over to. You do have to have a hose for this part. If you don't have a garden, then I'm afraid you can't really do it. Um, so you put the hose on, you walk back over to your hose, which it seems to be at the other end of the garden for some random reason. You pick hose up, and then uh, you spray it. Now this brings moisture to the super noodles, you see. Much needed moisture that super noodles don't actually have, because super noodles are dry, and disgusting. And a nearby cat that is very annoying and needs food. You then offer it the super noodles to see if it would like the super noodles. It doesn't want now, the super noodles. the next step is completely up to you, but this really does add flavour. Um, you simply place it in the toilet. Now, what I'm going to do here is a complete op option of mine. I've chosen this. There we go. In the toilet it goes. Now, it's because I do this, it means that it is it, is, it just brings that kind of sea kind of flavour to it, adds salt and, and protein to it. Then I, I think we all really if you want it. Bleach also thickens, uh, as is it, well you have to get thick bleach, uh, it thickens the sauce. Um, so when you do eventually, um, is it going in? Oh it is, wonderful. Um, it, 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 but it just makes it taste that little bit better. Um, it, it thickens the flavour as well as the uh, as well as the general aesthetic. Now, of when you the poured food. the bleach on the super noodles, you do want to get a little bit in your eyes because it it, it really actually enhances the sight. Um, it really enhances your vision um, whilst looking at said super noodles, um, and it makes them look a whole lot better than they actually Step are. To get the noodles and put them in the saucepan. Uh, now you can break these up but it won't make much difference because they still taste 
just what as What we do cold. now is we had 300 milliliters of water. Now, I can't really get that because I'm a terrible cameraman, but here we go. Let's see if we can get it at exactly 300. Seems to be working. Wonderful. Just over. Who gives a damn? Now, let's put it in to the noodles. And uh, there we go. Now you, now you wait for an excruciating amount of time. Whilst you're doing that, you might want to grab a wooden spoon. Um, with said wooden spoon, hold on, let me just switch hands real quick. You poke it and hope for the best. Now, poking it and hope for the best is a bit of a risque move. But you see, that is basically what Super Noodles is. Super Noodles is a risque move because there's always that chance our dare step is to turn down the heat slightly. This makes absolutely no difference, but why not? So, then you open the bacon flavour and put the contents in the soup. Now, as you can see, the plastic has melted and it has turned into a, an orangey colour, almost like radiation. Yes, if you are a science nut out there, this is what nuclear looks like. Not just nuclear, but atomic not bombs. Not we wait now. Another waiting game. You see, the whole point of super noodles is to wait an excruciating amount of time because super noodles are an excruciating amount of time of your life. You see, you're not allowed to actually do anything with your life when eating super noodles because they take so much time to do nothing. Uh, super noodles are disgusting and I'm clearly showing you here how they are, that is wrong. Super noodles are not disgusting. I've clearly shown you by all of this video that they are a fine cuisine and that the f only the finest chefs have the time and the effort to make such a delicate cultural food. Now with the added extra time that you have you can always talk to items of your kitchen because the level of insanity that you grow while waiting for the super noodles is intense. Now. Mrs. Pepper, or are you salt? <laughs> You're salt. Okay. Mrs. Salt. How do you think super noodles came into this country in, in, in such a illegal manner? She doesn't speak. It's an animal. As you see, the noodles are now done. Now what we do is turn the heat off. Because of course, heating them too much will make no difference. Now, we go into said cupboard where we find our plates and what the devil is that? Get the hell out of here. We get a bowl. Now, you notice there is a lot of alcohol here. You will need this to consume later after eating such a dreadful food. Now, you get the super noodles. Oh gosh, that's not the handle. You place it in the bowl in an elegant way. And voila! You have the world's finest food. You know what time it is, ladies and gents? It's time to taste our fine food. Are you ready? Mmm! Oh. It's got a, a slight hint of um, death and uh, just uh, uh, a tad, uh, 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 what's the word for it I'm looking for? Um, repulsive feature. Um, it, it resembles almost a poo, uh, but in more of a, a spaghetti noodle form. Now, I won't be eating this because it tastes dreadful, but I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Sir Augustus Herring here. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you would like to. Uh, I'm going to be doing more of these videos because I am a gourmet chef. Thank you very much for watching, and peace out.